Hi, this is Stefan from the More3D Tech team. This quick tutorial will look at how to use Mosterio 3D with Ansys. Assuming you have installed the Mosterio 3D software to your computer, please launch the Mosterio software by double-clicking the desktop icon. You will notice this little icon in the tray bar. Right-click it and select Properties to have the selection of your output device. Please make sure that the output device matches your 3D device. For presentation purposes, I will select the Anaglyph output mode. If you are unsure which output mode to select, please do not hesitate to contact us. Again, right-click the tray icon and select More 3D Stereo Enabler. In here, you can enter the path to the EXE file you want to convert to stereo. I will now do this for ANSYS. You want to click Add Application and then select this ANSYS 180 or 170 depending on your product version EXE file. Once it's been added, simply click the Enable checkbox. Click Save and Close. Next, start the product launcher for your ANSYS. Make sure that in the customization preferences, the graphics device name is set to 3D. Now load or import any model. Now you have the model on screen, but there is no stereo effect yet. Right click the viewport, select Window Properties, select Perspective View, choose a uh, perspective option. So. 45, 30 or 15 degrees or any specified angle. Do not use the no perspective. Click OK. Now rotate the model a little bit to force the screen to update and you will instantly see the 3D effect. To change the 3D effect, simply click the star key on your numpad it will display the in-app control panel. You can make changes to the 3D effect in here. Simply press the arrow keys. Arrow right to increase values or arrow left to decrease values. Please do not hesitate to contact us directly on support at more3d.com if you encounter any technical issues with this software. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.